to my necklace. I don't even know what's going on here. I am in desperate need for a haircut, but we'll save that for another day. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another vlog. I've been feeling so uninspired lately, which is horrible because technically one of the reasons why I left radio was because I wanted to focus more on my content. And lately, I've been finding myself just so uninspired. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I just got back from Barakai with Nico, and I feel very refreshed and re-energized from that trip. And I'm really making it a point to start thinking more about what content I can make for you guys on this channel and on my Instagram. I didn't vlog Barakai as much as I would have loved to have been able to record everything, watch it back, and share it with you guys. I also just really wanted to be in the moment. I didn't want to have to think about bringing my camera to this place or that place or wait, I want to record this or I should record this. I just really wanted to enjoy the trip and be present throughout the entire thing and it proved to be super good for me in terms of my mental health and just really being able to spend time with Nico and enjoy Barakai because the last time I was at Barakai was I think in 2017 when my friend Hannah got married like that was the last time I was there so I really really wanted to just soak everything up I also worked really hard on my tan I don't know if you guys can see but I'm pretty tan my face isn't though because I really slathered on a lot of sunblock to make sure that we don't age prematurely I'm gonna go to Landers later so I'll take you guys with me I'll vlog on my phone so we can actually see what the quality is like later on this week we're actually going to Baguio I'm gonna go to Landers and buy a couple of snacks for us because we're gonna be there for quite a few days which I'm really excited about also haven't been to Baguio in a very very long time I'm actually gonna go for a run before I hit up the grocery and before that I wanted to share with you just a couple of things that Trina got me from the States because she did come back when did she come back like end March right April she got me this really cute vegan leather bag I have been looking for like the perfect light nude bag for the longest time. Like I cannot trust myself with a white bag because I know I'm gonna stain it, scratch it, basically ruin it. I'm super obsessed with its like squidgy handle. It reminds me of a scrunchie. It's from the brand Sin Bono. I've actually never heard of this brand before, but I checked their Instagram and their website and their bags are so, so pretty. Very JWP, Jacques Mousse, and it's just really cute. It's got some gold hardware on it and I don't have anything like in this hot dog shape which I was also really happy about because I just thought it was such a fun bag there I don't know if you guys can see yes I am still in my pajamas let me live she got Nico and I a couple of snacks Trina always brings back like the best snacks from the States smart sweets if you guys watch YouTube videos then you'll know you'll know so many youtubers talk about how good these sweets are they're supposedly healthy how healthy can candy be everything but the bagel seasoning I love this and perfect timing actually because we just ran out of our original bottle. I love having this on top of my eggs. You could basically sprinkle this on anything and it tastes delicious. This I'm very excited about because I love peanut butter, almond butter, any type of butter that you can put on bread. Trader Joe's crunchy salted peanut butter with ground flax and chia seeds. This is what it looks like. I genuinely appreciate Trina and all of her efforts to go to a Trader Joe's for me. I never ask her to buy me anything from Trader Joe's but she always makes sure to stop by and get me a couple of bits and I always appreciate it and she always tries her best to find me like healthy but yummy things that she wouldn't eat but she feels like I would love and she always gets it right she really does Dunkin Cruisin coconut ground coffee you know I feel like if Trina decided to just retire from her job and be a personal shopper she would be the personal shopper of everyone because she's just so good at finding unique items that you would love I freaking love coconut. I love Dunkin Donuts coffee and she managed to find this which is literally me in a bag. It even says here enjoy a cup of sunshine. I'm so sure that this tastes absolutely delicious. Thank you Trina. It's also limited edition. Speaking of limited edition, what is a trip to the States without a pack of Oreos? Trina is also the queen of Oreos and she got Nico and I the ultimate chocolate cream Oreos. The 
The cream of these Oreos are supposed to taste like the frosting of a chocolate cake, which if you uh, think about it is probably the best combination. I'm guessing the cookie itself has layers like that. Nico and I are supposed to be on a health kick though. So milk chocolate raisinets. These are dangerously addicting. My mom loves the dark chocolate version. I actually prefer the milk chocolate. I just feel like it brings out the taste of the raisins more. And the last thing she got us is another healthy thing, which Nico and I are very happy about. This is the Trader Joe's gluten-free granola loaded root and nut. So thank you again, Trina, for all of the lovely goodies from the States. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini Trina haul. Eventually. I honestly don't know why I pick up the camera every time I look questionable, but as you can see, I just finished my run and it's looking really gloomy outside. Like it's been so gloomy the past two days. I'm not complaining because it's a lot cooler than it was initially, but Kara said something about a storm. I don't know if that's true. That's very concerning considering we're supposed to go out of town. I'm gonna head off to Landers at 10. So I gotta fix up everything and then get ready to go. I broke another chip jack. Yep, broke another banana clip, another casualty. This always happens to me. And I don't know if it's because I always purchase the 20 peso ones from Shopee and Lazada. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should actually invest in a good chip jack. I remedied the situation. I don't know if you guys can see. Great vlogging skill by doing two baby ones and they're actually holding my hair up a lot better. If you guys have any suggestions of like really good banana clip stores or like a specific brand of banana clip slash chook chacks, could you guys please leave them in the comments because I have broken three. My hair's too thick. Not complaining though, love my hair. It's been very, very good to me, but these banana clips just are not lasting. I am freshly showered and changed and I'm about to head off to Landers. But before that, I wanted to show you guys some of my new favorite pieces from Love and Luna. You guys know I talk about Love and Luna a lot. Rosie Shop is incredible. And she kindly gifted me a bunch of beautiful pieces right before my trip to Boracay. And I'm obsessed. I brought a lot of them with me to Boracay and I wore them the entire trip and I continue to wear them now. Starting with these beautiful mother of pearl hoop earrings. So gorgeous. They're such good quality. I swam in the sea with these and they didn't tarnish. They didn't turn black. They didn't turn green. They didn't give me any allergies or reactions whatsoever. That's why I love Rosie Shop. And she also gifted me these gorgeous tennis bracelets. Now, I actually saw this on the Love and Luna IG and I placed an order, but Rosie being Rosie was just super generous and said that she would gift them to me. I have been wanting tennis bracelets for a very long time but you guys know they're super expensive because they're all diamonds these ones by love and luna are honestly just perfect because number one they freaking look real number two they're of excellent quality and number three i don't have to worry about my arm being cut off because they're not real diamonds how beautiful is that they go perfect with my lenny kiko baller band which i wear every single day and i've actually got a couple of them in my bag just in case somebody asks me where I got it or if they express their support for Lenny and Kiko and want one. I'll be sure to link Love and Luna down in the description box. I also bought a pink case because I am that much of like a Lenny Kiko supporter. Please don't mind the state of our home. I am in the process of trying to get Nico to fix his mess. Anyway, before I go, I thought I'd share with you guys my outfit for today because I actually didn't think about this outfit and now that I'm looking at it, I genuinely like it. It's giving me the row vibes. If you guys remember that picture of Kendall Jenner where she was decked out in the row. That outfit was ridiculously expensive. It's giving me the same vibe and it's definitely not as expensive. So I've got one of my favorite bodies from Zara. They always stock these on the website and the app. I rarely see them in store, which is really weird considering they're such a bestseller. But if you guys check the Zara app or website, I'm sure you'll find it there. I've got it in white, black, and in brown as well. I'm also wearing my Tapies silicone nipple pasties. For those of you that are curious about what underwear you can use with these kinds of body suits because regular bras will show. Trusty leather Zara belt, which I got last year. Still use it. It's one of my best purchases. And then I've got my super baggy khaki pants from Mango. I love these. They're very golf dad vibes. I'm gonna wear my white platform sandals from Public 
desire and my new bag that Trina got me that I showed you guys earlier sort of spring summery vibe I'm not one of those people that has to match like my belt with my shoes and my bag I don't really follow those rules I'm a rule breaker there are no rules a few inches later I am so happy right now because there is no one in the outside parking of Landers I don't know if it's because they feel like it's gonna rain or if everyone already did their holy week shopping last week Wish me luck. Hopefully it's not super crowded inside. I'm excited. I love going to the grocery store. Am I, am I lame? Yes, I think so. Just a little bit. Okay. Charles, that was a very successful Ladders trip. I am now going to head home. Nico is also on his way home. It's actually gloomy, but it's hot. It's so strange. Anyway, I'll show you guys what I got in Landers. Later. We're gonna roll with this hairstyle because it's just too hot. If you're like me, you're a little nosy. It's nice to see what people buy at the grocery. I've got my cart here. I got this. It's a 24 bag of chips from Frito-Lay. It's called their Bold Mix. I got this for Baguio because I initially got like several big bags of different potato chips and then I thought about it. I was like, you know, we're gonna open like one big bag and then we'll feel compelled to finish it before opening another one. And what if we want a different flavor at some point in the trip, right? So I spotted this and it came out so much cheaper than if I bought all of those individual big bags. So this one's got Flaming Hot Cheetos in it, onions, lace, barbecue, sour cream and onion, and then two Doritos, which are our favorite flavors, the spicy nacho and the cool ranch. But I did get two big bags of chips as well. I got the Cheetos cheddar jalapeno, and then I got this for my mom because she loves sun chips. This is the 100% whole grain harvest cheddar flavor. Sun chips are supposed to be like a healthy chip. It's supposed to be like the uh, US Nova, if you will. How healthy are potato chips though? Another pack of eggs because I'm gonna make egg salad to make into sandwiches in Baguio. The Niga steak because Nico and I are trying to eat healthier. Farms Choice beef sirloin steaks. My mom said that's actually a really good cut. And then I don't really want to get it out of the box just yet because I'm going to portion it, but I was able to get Bounty Fresh Thai Filets. This is what I use for my Japanese chicken curry. And then chicken leg quarters at the bottom. That's what I'm going to use for danola or like pan oven chicken, like all of those things. Surf Active Clean Antibacterial Powder Detergent. This is what I use for Nico's practice jerseys and like his towels and all that stuff because I roll it takes off and he smells. My favorite soap. This is the Safeguard Pure White. Another pack of mayonnaise for the egg salad. Coffee made creamer. They don't have non-dairy creamer in Landers, which I find really weird because I feel like it would be the place. Honey! Hi, honey! Susie's oat non-dairy beverage. They didn't have our usual Kirkland almond milk. Pure Harvest original soy milk as well. I like soy milk. Giant two liter carton of full cream milk because Trina asked for this for Baguio for when we make hot chocolates. Apparently Trina makes really good hot chocolates and it requires full cream milk. I got another bottle of balsamic vinegar because we just ran out. I love using this for salads, for breads, for chicken sometimes. So it's always good to have that. This was a special request from Nico. I've never used this but he really wants to start using less oil. Wesley Farms cooking spray. It's non-stick, no artificial flavors, and it's fat-free. Three cans of Century Tuna in brine. And because he is our home barista, I was able to find him some cinnamon powder, which he's gonna use for his coffees. 
He makes very good coffee. I can't stress that enough. They didn't have brown rice, which was very weird. And I spotted this, and this looked really cool. This is Harvester's multi-grain rice. So it's gluten-free, 100% whole grain, and it's vegan. It says it's a super rice. Yeah, that is everything that I got from Landers. I'm going to put it all away now and portion the different meats that I got. And then I will catch you guys again in a bit. editing up a storm and I just put in Nico's practice jerseys in the washing machine and I fancied myself a cup of tea. I made myself a cup of tea yesterday with some biscuits and they hit the spot in so many ways that I'm now craving for it again. And the tea that I like to use, hold please call her, is this tea. Now this is actually given to me by Trina quite a while ago so I'm actually quite surprised that it still tastes good. Does tea expire? I, I really don't know. It's from the Edinburgh Tea and Coffee Company and and it's their Scottish collection. Now, I'm a really big fan of English breakfast tea. Like, it's really genuinely one of my favorite teas ever. And they've got their own, it's their Scottish breakfast tea. So I'm just boiling some water in the kettle. And yes, our water dispenser has the hot water side, but I like to heat my water in a kettle because I really like it boiling because I like to steep my tea for quite a long time. I'm not gonna teach you how to make tea. I'll know how to make tea. I am gonna show you though the biscuits that I had yesterday that I went crazy crazy for. You guys would have seen it in a previous vlog and let me tell you, they're so freaking good. Ikea ginger thins with almonds. I knew they were gonna be so good. I mean, if you don't like gingerbread, then you won't like this. I genuinely love it. Oh, it's so good. I usually just leave my cup here for like five minutes. If you guys are going to Ikea anytime soon, please pick me up a box. Please pick yourselves up a box. They're so good. I'm gonna use this soy milk that I bought earlier. Got my biscuits and my tea. Oh, another reason why I started vlogging is because I need your help, actually. I am looking to buy wireless headphones. Like, as much as I love my AirPods for editing or if I really want noise cancellation, those days where I really want to shut off from the world and stuff, I really want to buy noise canceling wireless headphones. I've been reading a couple of reviews. These Sony ones, I'll put them on screen. They've been getting a lot of rave reviews. The only like downside to it is it's not waterproof, but it's not like I'm going to be going to the beach with wireless headphones. Phones. They're really nice. They're quite expensive. <laughs> I mean, they're discounted now on Lazada, but they're still over 10,000 pesos. So I don't know if I should get them. Do you guys have any suggestions or any brands? I mean, I will spend money if they really are going to be good quality and if they're really worth it, but that's just it. I don't know what headphones are worth it. So if you guys are maybe into tech stuff or if you've got a pair of wireless headphones that you genuinely love that are comfortable on the ears, that's another thing. I've got wired ones and they're so painful like after a while my ears feel like they're gonna fall off so if you guys have any suggestions can you please leave them in the comments for me i'm not in a rush i'm not gonna buy one tomorrow help a girl out cheers i'm gonna i'm gonna continue editing now 